Okay, here's another great tool, by the way, while I'm at it. So you can actually, like, for example, if you're doing something, right, and now we have, like, multiple items. Let's say I want to move something like, like this tip here, but it makes everything move, right? Well, I don't like that. How do I do that? Well, one thing is, like, you can mask it, right? And you can mask the whole, like, face, for example, and then only do this. But another great way of doing this is actually select your thing, hide everything else, and then press W and then face set from visible. You can also do similarly from here on the bottom left or top left, wherever you have it. You press face set, initialize face sets, and then buy loose parts. So what it's going to do is like buy like the parts of the model that are loose. So they're not connected to like face like that. Uh, you can make them uh, color coded, right? And what color coding do does is really nothing. But there's an option right here. Okay, either way, it's 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 Alt A. So it's auto masking option. So if you if your keybind is different, what you can do is like just go here, type in face sets. Uh, and you see auto masking Alt A it says. So that's your shortcut. So Alt A. There's like two options, face sets, and then there's face sets boundary. These are the two that I usually use. So face sets auto masking, what does it do? So again, uh, we have the colors, right? But if I move this around, everything moves around anyways. But if I do auto masking face sets or Alt A and then here, right? I have it in quick menu. Like this. Then what it's gonna do, it's like, it's only gonna move the mesh with a with similar color, right? So all of this thing is green. So it's only gonna move this. It's no longer gonna move the eyelash, right? Like this or the eye area. Another thing that you can do, which I also really, really like that one is, so for example, let's say <clears throat> this area has like, it can be like a, a hair piece or between faces or whatever it is, right? Here in this case, we can do this actually. I'm gonna select that. This as well, mark seam, there we go. So I'm gonna like give this one a blue color, right? So right now, if I move this around, and even though I have face sets on, you can see like this area moves as well, right? So what it really does is like, it only moves this one, but because it moves this one and I'm in subdivide mode, uh, like this mesh post subdivide also obviously moves, right? So to not have that happening, there's also face set boundary auto mask. So what it does is like anything that is on the boundary, that's not gonna move anymore. It's only gonna move like this one, not this one. Again, there's still some like tiny bit of moving, but it's not moving like this point itself. See, now it's moving the point, the boundary point in between the white and blue, but with it, it's not gonna move it. Anymore. So that's also useful. I'm gonna turn it off for now. So yeah, face sets and then auto masking for it. And then you can do this. And you can work with individual mesh without worrying that you're uh, affecting other mesh underneath it or something like that it's extra it's extra good whenever making hair by the way i'm gonna be doing that probably tomorrow so if you come back tomorrow i'll be doing hair and then you can see how it affects how it's good with hair as well 